Hello there, welcome to my first ever YouTube video where I'm talking about my one of my recent matches that I did on my stream. Um, I'm playing with an Outlaw Rogue, I met him in LFG. Um, we're facing Demolog Resto Shaman which was quite difficult for us because for whatever reason we never got to kill anyone. Um, but yeah, let's rewatch the match and see why and what mistakes we did and why we may have lost in the end. Okay, we're jumping right into the match. Um, this match I didn't play Mark of the Wild. Um, I don't know why, I think I've got it. That's just as simple as that. But my rogue's opening with a sap on the Resto Shaman. Um, while I am waiting for the sap to run out, the Resto Shaman's starting to hit the demo lock. I think it's yeah, quite standard. Um, I mean, I'm not the very best. I'm just, just what I think. If you think something else or something else I could have done different, better, write it down in the comments and tell me. I'm always up for that. But yeah, I'm just sitting here in stealth waiting for the sap to run out um, so I can bash him and then clone. My rogue just kidney shot the, the warlock and... The Warlock immediately trinket and here's one first issue I would say. Um, you can see the cooldowns of my enemies but they're so small I, I can't barely see what it is. Like I can see the wall and soul shape and uh, the teleport circle but when they use it or when it's active the glow on it just makes it impossible for me to read. So that's one thing I should, it's, I mean it's a minor thing but one thing I should get better make it a bit bigger so I can see it when they use and see what they use. But yeah, the rogue, trink uh, the rogue got the trinket of the warlock and the warlock uh, model coils me to stop the clone. So the shaman's just running behind the pillar right away, um, getting out of line of sight so I can't uh, clone him. But the warlock is dropping quite a bit. The rogue even commits with, sh uh, with a smoke bomb on it and forces the druid to come in he's getting the warlock really really low but not really getting much like he's the warlock still has wall i'm just doing nothing here i don't know what i tried but now we also got ascendance from the warlock um yeah i mean at least we got this one cooldown but now we're running behind the pillar and I don't know why we choose this pillar. There's so many paths just hitting us. We should have gone to another pillar, for example. Also, Rogue used all of his cooldowns. Um, everything is gone. Like his offensive cooldown, his vanish, his, uh, his cloak. Everything is gone. We, sh we should have just done what we do now. Like run behind the pillar and kite. Let me heal up. Maybe go to a pillar on the other side. Yeah, yeah I'm a bit pissed that the LE AOE is not ending my hacks earlier but yeah now i'm line of sighting the shaman so he can't kick me while casting but it's quite hard the shaman he perched so much he perched every heart you see i put some odds on they're gone already but here's another issue um you saw me going in to bash like i did the raw i tried to clone the shaman let's go back a sec um yeah i raw the shaman then try to clone but get kicked i'm kicked for the next five seconds but i don't know why um i'm bashing the, sh the shaman it's the full bash so it's four seconds so but still I, I couldn't even follow up with the clone also my rogue has no cooldown whatsoever no kill pressure i should have saved the the um the bash there i mean we still have 50 seconds left with the uh, with the warlock to have no trinket on it like yeah um we had some time I, I didn't need to waste my bash there another thing i mean he's mostly hitting the rogue the rogue should definitely jump behind a pillar i think um wait out his cooldowns let me heal him up um but the other thing is i can't change with the rogue did, but i can change what i do and i shouldn't stay here why am i in the open like the shaman, he can hex me, what he does right now. And I don't know why I don't soul sh uh, shift into a form to stop the hex. 
but I'm, I'm just doing nothing. I'm just waiting out this kick. Not really knowing what to do, I guess, but I, sh I definitely could have stopped the Hex. Yeah, we continue. The Hex go through. I, I get an overgrowth, but now you see, I had to trink it now. I had to trink it. Um, I mean, I got my tree form because of my third Thriftman with the Legendary, but still, I didn't have to trink it here because I could have stood right behind the pillar. And so the rest of Shaman can't, can't Hex me. Rogue is going ham again. Kidney. Kidney on the Warlock, but the Warlock used wall. You can see it here. Um, he should have just run. Use the time, run behind the pillar, let me heal him up. Also me, I should have stayed next to the pillar. So that I can heal him up and not get feared. There's not really, not really a reason for us to stay out here and do something. We have nothing. Like my Warlock has no damage cooling up, nothing. We're just in the open getting damage for free. One thing I notice here, um, let me go back a, a bit. You see the mana? I'm like three quarters and the Shaman is maybe a bit less, but that's what we should do. We should, in between cooldowns, in between goes, we should play it slow, heal up, maybe get a drink. I mean, I, I can probably drink better than the rest of Shaman can because I can just Shadow Meld and drink. He has to wait for a combat to drop so he can start drink. But yeah, we should have played it a bit slower so we can, yeah, play the long game. Okay, now not much happening again. Like I'm in the open, not doing anything. I'm not putting up hearts. I'm getting feared again because I'm just in the open and not far enough. Yeah. I'm gonna be a bit pissed, like every heart's gone, look. And then again, I'm not really doing much. We get Link here, but still, we, sh we should have just left. We should have just left, waited, heal back to full, and then do proper goes. I mean, we're not talking in, in voice, so setups are a bit harder. But yeah, you see what happens now? I try to fear all the pets, everyone, because it's really, really low and just vanished. So yeah, um, we do the right thing, go behind the pillar, and, and I try to heal up, but Rogue is back in. Like, the Rogue went back in, he still has 30 seconds left on his, um, on his damage buff, but I don't know what to do. But, once again, I should have stood on the other side of the pillar, so the Shaman can't kick me. Now again, Shaman kicks me, I have no trinket, I can, I cannot really do anything. Now... I'm waddling around. Like that's one thing I also noticed while watching the game. I'm I'm constantly walking around, not really doing anything. I don't know, just time thinking. I should probably play more, but also I should do something, even if it's just pressing Moonfire or Sunfire, I guess, because it's better than not doing anything. Yeah, I get another tree form from my legendary, trying to get him to full. But it's really hard if the rogue gets perched of every heart that I put on him. Okay, now I get the full poly. Another time where I didn't, I didn't shift. I mean, I, I didn't even press anything, and I forgot. I didn't really pay attention to the cost bar. Got hexed, and yeah, I think this is the end for the rogue because it's just too long. I can't do anything. So yeah. I think my my mo biggest takeaway from this is against warlocks we should really play it slower like go in when we can kill or feel like we can kill um do proper cross cc like let me bash the shaman and clone him rogue kidneys the kill target we could even swap like we could even kill the shaman in a in a stun but now nah. In between goals, we should just walk around the pillar, try to take as little as little damage as possible, and just not die. Don't take damage. Keep mana up. Try to do some damage on the um, on the warlock. I mean, you can still stop, but if you have nothing to also stop the lock from casting, you should definitely not try to hit him. Like if your kick is ready and maybe your gouge to to incap. I can't say the word, I'm sorry. Incapacitate him, like, 
that's something like you shouldn't waste maybe kidney on a on stopping him from a cast but other than that you you have enough tools at the rogue to stop him from casting um yeah and we should definitely play the long game yeah so if you want to see me being better against warlocks next time i mean learn quite a bit now um you should definitely check out my stream it's linked in the description um also like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these not only just against warlocks everything everything that beats me i should look it up and see what i can do better so i hope you enjoyed it have a nice day and goodbye <laughs>